Hey guys, so today's inspiration for this painting is of um, a famous painting in Korea called Miendo, and you can look it up if you want to. It's M-I-I-N-D-O. I think that's right. Something like that. You'll find it. And I was inspired to do this because I have a Korean friend named Une, and she loves wearing hanbok. So I used a lot of different um, hanboks that she wore and put it together in this piece, and that's what I got. Anyway... Besides that, um, I'll talk more about that some other time. But besides that, I want to talk about something specifically. And what I wanted to talk about today was a, f a ex friend of mine and why she was an ex friend. I told you a while back in the Natural 85 video that I had issues with a roommate, but I didn't explain exactly why I had these issues. But now I'm going to explain why. So this roommate that I have, she's now who was my friend at the time, me and another ex friend of mine decided that we were going to move in together because we needed to move. She wanted to move out of, um, they wanted to move out of campus housing and I wanted to move away from home because commuting was horrible. So we decided on a place ca called campus crossing at Durham. So it was like an apartment. So if one of us were late on rent or anything, that was the only person who had to suffer not everybody else. So when we moved in with her, things were okay at first, but it started to get a little shaky. I didn't like, there were certain things about what she was doing I didn't like because she didn't really seem like a friend because every time we were home, she never wanted to engage with anything that we were doing. And she would basically lock herself away in a room, in her room, and not talk to us for a day or hours. She would just be there for hours for a long time when she did have her laptop. And you know what? That's just whatever. You're going to be a loner or whatever. And that wasn't really what bothered me. What bothered me is the fact that she would use my belongings mostly. And she would use it without my permission. And when she would use it, she would never clean it or do anything about it. You know, she, she just left it how it was, just a mess. And then when I tried to use her belongings, she would have a problem. And she would lock or keep her belongings in her room for me, not for nobody to use. But she would always constantly use our stuff. So I had an issue with that. So then we came up with some house rules regarding that. That if we use certain people's things, we had to ask for permission and blah, blah, blah. So we agreed on that. Of course, she didn't abide by those rules. So then I had an issue with it a little bit. Then she said, you know what? How about we make this rule? Oh, I think it's, I was using her stuff and she didn't like it. And she said, you know what? We're going to make this rule. We're just not going to use each other's stuff at all. And I said, okay, I was fine with that. And I never used her stuff. But come to find out, she's using my stuff still. And not only was she using it, she was lying about, lying about using it. So one time, I think... We got some kind of stupid fight about her missing some shuttle and every, whatever, and I had to pick her up, and I was annoyed by that. But then she was a little bit mad for a little while. Then she got over it, kind of, but I wasn't, I was like low key. I was kind of done with her at that point. It was something. I can't remember exactly what it was. And I see that she's using, she starts using my things again. And one day I come out of my room, and I'm sitting in the living space on the couch, and I see a spatula of mine on the floor dirty and I didn't say this but in the past before she has problems with breaking or messing up my things and this spatula she already previously break by shoving it down in my blender and chopping off the top of it and fucking the whole thing up and I was just so pissed about that and I was just like what's what are you doing and then she had an issue with buying me a new spatula and I'm like why do you have an issue with buying me a spatula you broke the damn spatula so you need to replace it she was having a problem with I don't want to pay for shipping and blah blah I'm like you broke the spatula just pay it anyway but that's the size of the point <laughs> the point was she had I saw my spatula sitting on the floor dirty with mayonnaise on the floor on a carpet in the living space I'm thinking how trifling can you be this is not the first time she was this dirty she has just been just disgusting the whole time and then she comes out. I get her attention. I say, why is my? Why did you use my spatula? Right? She's like, you know what? She picks it up, walks in the kitchen, washes it off. The girl has issues, so she takes long spaces between her sentences sometimes. Then she says something like, I don't even care anymore or whatever. And then at that point, we were basically done being friends. But it doesn't get any better than that. It gets worse because this is what she does then. She continues to use my belongings, but this time she tries to claim as her own and it's still some of my stuff and then lie about it. I remember one time I walked out of my room again and she's cutting potatoes on the table, no cutting board or plate under her, nothing in the living room table. This is not the kitchen. And I'm like, okay, just trifling. But anyway, she's cutting potatoes and she's using my knife, the knife that I brought from my house there. 
And then she, I said, why you use my knife? She said, this is not your knife. I bought this knife. Now, the girl is like a pathological liar. She She's a chronic liar. She lies all the time. She even believes her lies sometimes, I swear. So I was like, okay, I know this bitch is lying. So when she left, she left her room open. I went in her room, and I got the knife, and I knew it was my knife. It was an old, worn knife, and it was nowhere near new. I said, why did you lie about using my knife after she came back? And she didn't say nothing about it. And this wasn't even the first time. She's constantly done this over and over again. And then she had issues with throwing away her trash or taking out her trash. She would have banana pills in her room. And we had a fruit fly infestation. This whole time, I'm thinking it's me because I eat a lot of fruit. It wasn't even me. It was her. But anyway, we've come to the end of the story. I might continue it later. But that's all for now. Peace.